Indeed, I, did, I gave this presentation on Saturday afternoon about the extended duration of endocrine therapy. Because you know, patients with hormone receptor positive or to negative disease, despite of receiving five years of endocrine therapy, they still remain at a high risk of relapse later on. It can go up to 20 years. Even small tumors, still one and zero, they have up to 13% risk of relapse at 20 years. If they have one to three positive, it increases. And if they have four or more positive lymph nodes, it's more tumors, they can go up to 32%. So the risk exists there. So we had some strategies to decrease this risk of the relapse in the first five years of those patients. Uh, different strategy, the first one that we studied in the early 2000s was really to look whether aromatase inhibitor was better than tamoxifen. That was the first strategy. Give a little bit tamoxifen, give a little bit aromatase inhibitor or aromatase inhibitor up front. And the strategy of adding aromatase inhibitor was better than tamoxifen alone for five years. And this became the standard of care. But we saw that the if you want to decrease the risk further, we had to extend duration. So the trials that look for first five years of tamoxifen and then add five years, additional five years of tamoxifen, they all improve disease-free survival. So you give it 10 years tamoxifen. Some trials looked for tamoxifen five years and then they give additional five years of aromatase inhibitors or three years additional aromatase inhibitors. They also improved the disease-free survival. But the question was, if those patients treated today that they receive tamoxifen a little bit, then three years of aromatase inhibitors, do they derive benefit of extended duration of endocrine therapy? And that was a question from different trials. They looked for different, the different durations, seven and a half versus five, nine versus six, 10 versus 7. And what we can conclude from all these trials is that 10 versus 7, 8 is no better. So the good duration for us, we see that patients, they benefit from 7 to 8 years compared to 5 years, particularly patients that have received the 5 initial years of tamoxifen. If they have tubers greater or weaker than 2 centimeters, if they were hormone uh, lymph node positive, if they have both PR and estrogen receptor positive. So those are those patients who benefit the most. So today, what we take into account is really discuss with the patients, seeing the side effects and the risk of relapse of those patients beyond five years. And for the risk of relapse, there are two tools that you can use today. One that's called the breast cancer index is a RT-PCR assay that you have to test the tumor and you see different signatures of proliferation and responsiveness to endocrine therapy. This is uh, commercially available. We don't have it worldwide. I do not use in Belgium, it's not uh, uh, reimbursed. But these signatures can give prognosis, but can also give the prediction. Patients with BCI, breast cancer index, high, they are at a high risk of relapses. So those patients, Today, ASCO guidelines, NCC any guidelines recommend for patients postmenopause, premenopause that they have tumors one to three centimeters, any one to three positive lymph nodes or node negative. You can use BCI to assess the risk of relapse and discuss with your patient the extension duration of endocrine therapy. Another strategy that is freely available, a tool that is a calculator, web-based calculator called the CTS-5. So it was developed by our colleagues in the UK, extremely, extremely validated in different trials, used for postmenopause. This, you put age, number of lymph nodes, grade, and tumor size, and it can give you low, intermediate, or high risk of relapse beyond five years. So you can use this to calculate what is the risk of your particular patient, discuss with the patient this uh, extension, uh, the risk of relapse and extended duration and see how it goes. Another thing that you cannot forget is uh, are the side effects. The side effects are important uh, because you are suppressing estrogen with aromatase inhibitors and the patients, they may have vaginal dress, dryness, hot flashes, arthralgias, myalgias, osteoporosis, cardiovascular events. These, all those things you have to take into account. And in terms of articular events, they can also have bony fractures and that have been recorded in the trials. Longer duration of uh, aromatase inhibitors higher the risk of uh, the bone fracture. So really those things you have to put in the scale, talk to the patient, patient's preference, side effects, 
and risk of relapse. But today, most of my patients, I recommend seven to eight years uh, endocrine therapy. Patients with a very low risk of disease, very small tumors, node negative, those patients I can go for five years and stop treatment. There are other strategies that you use also to decrease the risk of relapse beyond extending uh, the duration. One is today for some patients with a high risk, abemastically for two years is recommended, is approved. For patients with germline mutations, BRCA1 or 2, olaparib for one year is also approved. The use of adjuvant bifosfonate is approved. The nuzumab is not approved yet, but has been presented at the ASCO and improved disease for survival. Um, those are the things that you can do. And in patients who are premenopausal, the use of ovarian function suppression during the first five years of tamoxifen or aromatizing inhibitor based on the risk of relapse. So all these strategies you have to discuss with patients and plot which is the risk of relapse and what the patients want.